Golang is one of the fastest growing programming languages. It was developed by Robert Griesmer, Rob Pike and Ken Thompson at Google in 2007. To solve problems like slow compilation, complex syntax, concurrency issues and much more that existing languages like C++, Java, Python could not able to solve. I mean each languages solve different problem but they want one language that can solve all these problems. So Go is built for the purpose of high performance, scalability and simplicity. What you can build with Go? Most of the DevOps tools like Docker, Kubernetes, Terraform are built using Go. Because these tools need to be fast, efficient and scalable. And Golang is built for this purpose. Go uses less CPU and memory when compared to other programming languages and that's why it is heavily used in managing cloud infrastructure. Go is the powerful language for the backend development. Web applications need faster response times and scalability. And Golang is exactly built for this. Golang is used to build web APIs, high performance servers and cloud native applications. Popular Go frameworks like Jin and Fiber helps us to create minimal and efficient backend for the web application. And that's why Golang is a top choice for the modern backend development. Many companies are now moving away from a big monolithic applications to microservices, which means different parts of an application run independently. With Go routines, Go can handle thousands of tasks at once. And because of its lightweight nature, it runs smoothly without consuming too many resources. And many big companies like Netflix, Google, Uber uses Golang to handle its millions of users. So if you want to build highly scalable modern applications, Go is one of the best language for microservices. Networking applications need to process a lot of data at high speed and Golang's efficient concurrency model makes it perfect for handling multiple connections at once. Go is used for VPNs, proxies, firewalls and load balancers and many projects like Caddy, Traffic uses Go. So if you are interested in networking, Go is again a strong choice. Go is widely used for building command line tools because of its fast, efficient and cross-platform nature. Which means, program written in Go can run on any machine regardless of the operating system without any extra dependencies, libraries or runtimes. This makes CLI tools easy to distribute across different operating systems. Popular CLI tools like Docker, kubectl, Terraform are built using Go. Golang is the perfect choice for building CLI tools. It is fast, efficient and works everywhere. Golang is again used in blockchain and Web3. And some of the blockchain platforms like Ethereum, Hyperledger and Cosmos use Go to build their backend. Golang helps it to process thousands of transactions per second. In my view, no language is perfect and Go is not an exception. Every language has their own advantages and disadvantages. Till now I said Go can do this, Go can do that. Because Go is designed for that. Now I'll discuss with you for what Go is not designed. Go is not designed to be a fully object oriented programming language like uh, Java or C++. Which means Go doesn't have any kind of classes, inheritance, polymorphism, encapsulation. This is because to keep the code simple. And you can easily understand what this program does just by looking at it. And Golang is not designed for artificial intelligence or machine learning. I'm a big hater of Python, but I must say that Python dominates AI ML world. Go also has some machine learning libraries, but it is not the best choice for AI applications. Go is not designed for data structures and algorithms. Go doesn't have any built-in data structure like stack, queue, tree, like C++ or Java. Also, Go doesn't have any built-in sorting algorithms. But if you want to practice data structures and algorithms without depending on the STL, then you can. So, Go was not built to replace every language. It was built to solve a specific set of problems like uh, performance, simplicity and scalability. As more and more companies are moving towards cloud, learning Go can help you land a job. It is easy to learn and no complex syntax. Companies are hiring Go developers like crazy. If you want to learn Go, I'm starting a new Golang series. All you have to do is just support me guys. It gives me motivation. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it. See you in the Golang series. This is the end of this video. Let's get started with this video. Let's get started with this video.